Hi guys, in this presentation, I will be presenting solution of a static structure problem using ANSYS APDL software. I'll be using 10 elements for this problem. The description of the problem is given in the figure you are seeing. It is a vertically suspended bar of length 100 units. There are total 10 number of elements I have earlier said. Each of the element is having a length of 10 units. The top node is numbered 1 and the bottom node is numbered 11. There are total 11 nodes. And uh, now I'll be showing this with the help of the ANSYS. So first thing is to go for the preferences and select structural. Okay. Go for preprocessor. Select the element type. Add delete. Add link. So this is a line element or a bar element. I'll be going for real constants. Add delete. Add okay find the cross section area close now define the material material models structure linear elastic isotopic here i will put the modulus of elasticity which is 210 e9 which means 10 raised to power 9 210 into 10 raised to power 9 let us take a portion ratio of uh, 0 0.31. I'm going to exit this window. Okay. So next thing is to go for uh, creating the nodes in active CS. I am going to define the node number one, which is positioned at 0, 0, 0. I'll say apply. And then node number 11, which is positioned at y minus 100. Say okay. Now using these nodes, I'll be defining the elements. So first of all, I'll check the element attributes. So element type number is defined, material number is defined, and the real constant number is defined. This seems okay. I'll go for two nodes and select these two nodes. Now what I am going to do is to define the nodes numbered 2 to 9 by using fill between node commands I'll select this and this and say ok so you see it says that uh, I'm going to define in between nodes 1 and 11 total 9 number of nodes that means starting from node number 2 to node number 10 so that makes 9 nodes I'll say ok so total 11 nodes are defined or within uh, 1 and 11, 9 additional nodes have been defined. Now I will be using these nodes to define the elements. We'll go for element attributes, check the element attributes that element type is defined, material number is defined, real constant is defined. Now I will go for uh, through nodes, select this to define first element, say apply, then second element. Apply third, fourth, fifth, five. So total ten elements. I'm now going to define in this way. Okay. To make sure that my nodes and elements are defined, I will check this through the list and uh, verify whether my elements and nodes are properly defined or not. Now I am ready with the uh, loading and putting the constraints. I'll go for uh, loads, define loads, apply structure displacement because degrees of freedom at these nodes are to be node number one and eleven are to be constraints. So I'm going to select this and this and say all dof it means all dof are constraint you will see this change in the figure in the ansys gui now i am going to define force on uh, node number seven so let us say it is at y direction so y direction so 
let us say it is downwards and 6000 you will see this arrow once the force have been defined now I have uh, defined each and everything my solution should be ready now I will press this solve and see that solution is done now I can go for presenting the information plot results deformed shape so deformed and undeformed shape say ok I don't see anything over here so I need to graphically show my bar elements by changing the display so I'll go for plot controls style size and shape put on here and provide the value the real constant okay so you see each and every node displacement is shown so this is a undisplaced position this is a displaced position of node number two and uh, the maximum displacement is happening around node number seven where we have applied the load now i can go for control plot see the nodal solution y component of displacement and this is showing me the plot of the displacement throughout the bar now i can uh, go for uh, listing my result nodal solution say y component of displacement this list gives me exact values of the displacement at various nodes as you can see at node number 1 and 11 there is no displacement because they were fully constrained now i can go for element solution find out the stress values one my stress i can see the stress values in each and every element okay now i can go for finding the reaction solution go for this thing or reaction in the y direction and uh, this is the uh, reaction values at node number 1 is 2400 node number 11 is 3600 the total load is 6000 so this results make sense so this is all about solving this kind of a problem in ANSYS APDL you can do the practice yourself thank you